Welcome to the first elimination final. It's the Suns up against the Demons of Metricon Stadium. The loser goes out. The winner plays Port Adelaide. So the Suns, of course, finishing fifth on the Leo's Nep Challenge ladder. And the Demons finishing in eighth position. Just snuck into the uh, top eight. Of course, in front of Collingwood. And here go the Suns inside the forward. 50. Well, that was almost a lovely rise. In the first quarter, the Melbourne Blazers got a mop out of the fence. Look at all the numbers I've got back there. The kick was good to the Toyota logo. So now the Demons can go forward. Well, they've got one inside the 450. Doesn't go there. It goes just outside. It's a good athletic mark. So now they can have a go. What is the Supergirl territory? Well, he's got one in the square. That's where he goes. It's for the leading Hogan. And he has a chance from about 10 metres out to get the goal. And he does. And Melbourne lead by seven. They get the first goal of the game. Good kick out from the defence. Oh, he plays on. Runs to the AFL logo. Kicks it inside the ball. But that's a beautiful kick. Well, no Melbourne player was on him. And he has a chance to kick it from 49. Kicks on the way. Is the wind going to blow it back? No, it's not. You think it's going to be a low scorer? Good kick to the Toyota logo. So, Watts. What can he do? Kicks it long. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he didn't mark that. Could this be a problem for Melbourne because the Suns are going to go down the other end of the ground? No, they're not. Because Stephen May took way too bloody long. And the Demons are going to go back inside the 450 here through Jackie Watts. And that's a beautiful kick to the centre of the 50. And Hogan has a chance to get his second. Well, he's about 25 metres out. He should get it. Kicks on the way. He's missed it. What a fucktard. End of the quarter, there was one goal in the whole thing. That's pretty bad. So this game has been a very low scorer. Seven scoring shots in total. But that could be all about to change here with Hogan. He's going to line up from about 35. With 3.05 on the clock. Kicks it. And he's used the win beautifully. Melbourne get the second goal of the game. So the Suns are looking for the instant reply here. 2.53 to go. It's currently two goals of difference. That's a good kick out wide. They're doing the Geelong tactic. 35 plays on. Kicks it inside the 450. And that's a beautiful kick. Well, yeah, that's a great kick to, uh, who is it? D uh, Day, Sam Day. And he lines up on about 25 and puts it through for the Suns' first goal. Hand past it. Lucky to kick the ball there. Now it's a bouncing ball. Going to bounce straight to the Melbourne player. Jones. Uh, he's got to get rid of it quicker than that. Or otherwise he's going to get gobbled up. Now the Suns are going to go inside the 50. Oh, that's a beautiful kick to Charlie Dicko. So he's about 15 metres out directly in front. Surely he can't miss. Well, he, he might. No, he doesn't. And scores a level in the second quarter. Kicks it out wide to Watts again. He was involved in that previous play. And he kicks it inside the void. And there's Hoagie. So from about 46, can he put him back in front? And he misses. What a cunt. Third quarter, it's 17 to 16. It's one point the difference. This is a very low scorer as Jones hand passes it and it's a ball up. I mean, this is the lowest score I think we've ever seen, ever. Suns looking for an early start in this third quarter. They lead by one point. It's a very, very low scorer. And there's the mark inside the forward for this goal territory here. I reckon he should go for it, Tommy Lynch. He bangs it long and that's good game awareness from Sam Day. Good awareness from him. He knew he was going through to the point. He's hit the post from there. Oh, no. That has to be the worst kick I've ever seen. He's hit the post from five metres out. What a cunt. So Melbourne looking to go down the other end of the ground here and try and punish the Suns for that awful kick from Sammy Day. Well, this could be Supergirl territory here. He's got no one in the square. He has to go for it. Kicks it to the space. How's it going to bounce? Is it going to do it right angles? No. 253 on the board. Melbourne trial by two points. Final target inside the 50. There it is. And he's marked it. Well, it was uncontested. Gold Crest defender ran away from him. Maybe he was scared or something. Melbourne are oh, back in front. Thanks to Chris Dawes, I lead by four points. So we're on the wing again. This has been a uh, pretty prominent spot for the footy to go to today. And there's an uncontested mark inside the forward 50. Well, I reckon he should go for Gal. He does. He kicks it from just inside the 50. That is an absolute beauty. And Melbourne are up by nine. Nate Jones. He's an idiot. He needs to get off the ground and put his contact lenses back in because he's not seeing the player. Suns are going to go inside the world, Bibdy. And that's a beauty. Oh, it's a beautiful kick. Not sure what the Melbourne defender was doing. But Gold Coast need to go here to steady the ship. What a fucking...
Melbourne are up by seven points. They'd like another goal to get a bit more breathing room, but the Suns need a goal in this final minute just to steady the ship. They don't want this margin to blow out too far. That's a two-on-one. The Suns should be able to win this one. Ranger number 16. He lets his teammate number 40 get it while he does the shepherding. It was pretty shit shepherding by the looks of things. 43 seconds to go on the Toyota logo. Got one inside the 50, and he goes to him uncontested. Not sure what that Melbourne defender was doing, but he has to kick the goal. Smart. A day, day. Lines him up. Uses the win to perfection. He couldn't kick one from five metres out, but he's kicked one from 49. Nathan Jones again. So he could actually cost Melbourne the lead here late in this third quarter. He needs to get off the ground and get his glasses on. He can't see. Suns about 55 metres out. Oh, kicks it central. That's a beauty for Sam Day. So directly in front, about 15 metres out. Has to kick it from here to put the Suns back in front with three seconds to go. Yes, he does. And the Suns are back in front at three-quarter time. So Melbourne looking to get back in front here. There's the kick inside the 450. And there's the uncontested mark. So to give Melbourne the lead back by two points. There it is. This is goal for goal here at Metricon. Good hand passing from Melbourne. Oh, no. The hand passing was ruined by Chris Dawes who took way too bloody long to get rid of the bowl. Well, there's a yeah, there's a one-on-one -on -one in the square. Goes to it. How's it going to bounce? How's it going to bounce? Going to bounce out of bounds. So what a game we have here. It's four goals, 10-34, to five goals, 5-35, with three minutes to go in the last quarter. Melbourne lead by one point. What a game this is turning out to be. It's a low scorer, but it's a good one. Watts on the wing. Kicks it long. Good kick. Good kick to uh, 36. Garlis, I think it is. And he kicks it inside the world. Gee, brilliant spoil from the Suns player. He ran like a mice. But Stephen May's been holding the ball. He can't run too quickly. And that's why he needs to stay in the forward line. Now, finally, somebody taps it out the ruck. And it hasn't worked. Yeah, well, maybe that's why they're not tapping it out of the ruck. Because it's just not going to work. And Melbourne have a chance to extend the margin to seven points here. Well, it'll be a big bad thing if they do. And he's missed it again. What a fucked hard. So good mark from the Suns player there. 203 on the board. Kick long was good. So there's no one in the 50 here apart from one person, two people, three people. Three in the 50. Got to find one of them. Good spoil from the Melbourne player. He's keeping his team in the game. Jamar. Good handball to 18. He almost got caught holding the ball. Now it's a kick wide out to the wing. So Melbourne are about 65 metres out from their goal. Suns play is going to pick it up. He needs to kick the ball and he does. Gee, that's a good kick to the centre of the ground. There's 135 on the ball. Gold Coast need to go to be four points ahead. How's it going to go down? Good kick wide to number... What's you do? Number 32 is going to kick it inside the 450. No one's on him. No one's on him. And the Suns fans are ecstatic because number Sam... Number 12, Sam Day cooking a goal, and he's missed it. Well, this game's getting interesting. It's one point the difference. It's four goals, 11 for the Suns. They've been inaccurate. Well, you can't believe it, can you, if this game is going to end up as a draw. But Melbourne are going to go inside the 450 here. And that's a good mark to Hogan. If he kicks a super goal, it's all over. Chips it short. And I'm not sure how the Melbourne player didn't manage to mark that. And where is he running? I don't know where he's running. Is he running home? I'm not entirely sure. Suns are going to go down there and here with 40 seconds to go. This game is getting interesting here. This is probably going to be the second to last play of the game. Here's Charlie Dixon. I'm not sure why he didn't try to mark it. Number three is running away from the ball. So what's he going to do? Tackled. Ball up with half a minute to go. Right on the 50 for the Suns. Look at the ball in the background. Look at all the fans. Hold of the ball against Daniel Cross. There's 25 seconds to go. There. There's 25 seconds to go in the game. The Suns are trailing by one point. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? 20 seconds. Kicks it inside. It's a point and scores a level with 17 seconds to go. Melbourne hitting it down the other end of the ground. The, the fans are shouting. The players on the sidelines are shouting. The coaches are shouting. It's going to be a draw. It's going to... No. Ball up. With seven seconds, if the Suns get it holding the ball here, it could be all in probably for Melbourne. He's got to kick it, and he does, and it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a draw, and we're going to go to golden goal. Well, this is the most exciting thing I've ever seen in my life. So here we go. The current match is a draw. Do you wish to continue with overtime? Yes. 
Yes, we do. And we are in to overtime. Bend to the bowlers now. This game is getting interesting. Melbourne started off, but that's a hole in the ball against Daniel Cross. This is going to be something else. This is a first in Leo's nap challenge. Final series at least. Kicks it inside the board, 50. And there's a mark to Sam Day with 2.10 on the board. This could be the first goal of the overtime. And it is. And that's another one, Nathan Jones. He needs to be better. He needs to be better. Well, the Suns are going to go wide again, and they do. Marked it. Kicked it inside the 450, and number 22 is there. Well, this could be a two-goal buff of a Gold Coast, and it's not. It's a kicker. He kicked it into the points. Tommy Nichols has missed. But that, theoretically, well, effectively, it gives Gold Coast a two-kick lead. Melbourne have two kicks, and then they're in front. It's not a goal, and then they're in front. They have to kick two goals, and then they're in front. So, effectively, that acts as a goal for the Suns. It does. Watts is on the wing. In overtime period one. one twenty-two on the clock in this first period of overtime. And the Suns have managed to intercept the ball beautifully. Hand pass was shit though. It got turned over in the middle of the ground. Hogan's going to go inside the forward 50. He's going to kick it long. Who's there? No one's there. How's it going to bounce? How's it going to bounce? It's going to bounce through for the points. So it's a behind. And now it's an even go. So a minute and eight to go. The Suns are going to kick it out from their defensive 50. Banging ball out of the defensive 50. It's a good kick. There's one minute to go in the first period of overtime. Well, they've got it in the centre of the ground. If they get another goal, it might just be all over for the Melbourne Demons. Well, he's lining them up from 60. I'm not sure what he's doing. Bangs it long! And it's a mark in the square to Sammy Day. You could debate if that was going through for a super goal, but it's going to be a guaranteed six-pointer for the Suns here. Nine metres out, puts it through, and the Suns lead by two kicks. And now we're getting into the second half. Here we go. Ball back in the middle. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Tapped it down. Hand pass was a good one to the Demons. And now there's a kick inside the forward. Can he get to it? Hogan couldn't quite get to it. Suns players moving up to try and defend this ball. The tackle is good from Hogan. This is incredible. And that's holding the ball. That's a breakthrough that the Suns were looking for. Yeah, it was. It definitely was. And Melbourne aren't going to be too happy. They're not going to be too happy at all. And that's a kick into the centre of the ground. It was a good one. One minute 50 to go. So there's still time for Melbourne to kick two goals. And maybe even draw the game. What's going to happen if it's another draw? I mean, this could be incredible. Suns are going to go inside the forward 50. And if they kick this goal, it's going to be really hard for the Demons. Yeah, it is. It's going to be really hard for them. There's the kick. And there's the goal. And the Suns have probably just about won this game in overtime. It's three goals of difference. Seven goals, 13 to 5, 7. It's 12 scoring shots to 20. And that's another hold in the ball against Dom Tyson. I'm not sure why the Demons coaching staff haven't dragged him. A minute 20 to go. The Suns are going to go out wide. They're going to win the first elimination final. They're going to be playing Port Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval in the first semi-final. And that's a beautiful kick inside the ball, 50. If he kicks this, it's all over. If he kicks this, it's all over. And the Suns are going to win. What a game. I can't believe it. So a ball up with a minute to go. In the second period of overtime, that's going to be home the ball against Dom Tyson again. What's he doing? I think he just needs to be delisted at this point. Well, the Suns have got the ball in their hands. They lead by 24 points. And they're another ball for me. This could make it five goals of difference. With three quarters of a minute to go. Day. He's been influential today. And he's missed it. Yeah, well, that basically puts another kick in the game. So basically, it's five goals of difference now. And Melbourne are definitely going to lose. Yeah, they are. Melbourne, they started out well in the first half of the game. Well, I should say the first third of the game because we're going into two periods of overtime. They started out well in the first third, but um, they haven't been that great in the, uh, in the uh, two thirds after that. So they might go down here for a bit of a consolation prize, but they're going to be heading home to Melbourne. And the Suns are going to be heading to Adelaide to play Port Adelaide. And uh, that's going to be a really good game. And we're going to see if that one goes into overtime as well. But the Suns are going to win this game here at Metricon Stadium. Five seconds to go. Can he find a target inside the 450 quickly? One second. Zero seconds. He's not going to run to the side, but it doesn't matter. The Suns have won the game in overtime. And they're going to Adelaide. And Melbourne are going back to Melbourne. And we're saying goodbye to them. Suns win by 25.